what is there not to love about Bolt? The characters are incredibly entertaining, funny, and lovable. The story is engaging. The animation is superb, and it is chock full of Easter eggs. Do you know which one was hiding in plain sight and the story about the water tower? How much of Inspector Gadget is in Bolt? Here are some of the coolest Easter eggs from Bolt. First up, Bolt's collar. Sometimes when something is right in front of you, you become blind to it. That's exactly the case with one of the most obvious Easter eggs that are not so hidden in Bolt, his collar. As is usual for a dog's collar tag, there's an address on Bolt's tag as well. But do you know what the address is? The actual, physical location of where Bolt the movie was made. The tag says 2100 Riverside Drive, Hollywood. This is the actual address of the Walt Disney Animation Studios. Next, Bolt's different names. A little secret Bolt has is that he wasn't supposed to be called Bolt. Initially, they wanted to call the dog Mega Dog, but that obviously doesn't roll off the tongue as pleasantly, which is why they searched for something better until they eventually landed on Bolt, except in Russia. In Russia, his name is Volt. Apparently, Bolt is a bad word, which is a bit unfortunate, especially for a kid's movie. Looking at Bolt now, it's really hard to imagine a world where his name would be anything but Bolt, unless you're in Russia, of course. And now, Silver Lake Animal Rescue. The animal rescue where Penny adopts Bolt when he's a puppy is called Silver Lake Animal Rescue. This is a reference to a neighborhood just 15 minutes away from the Walt Disney Animated Studios. In 1930, Walt Disney had his first giant studio built in this very neighborhood. Next up, we have the Disney Water Tower. The water tower that is visible in the background of some of the shots is the famous Disney Water Tower. It's called an Earful Tower, and the one that is depicted in Bolt was bought from the money they'd made with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. If you want to fill it all the way up with water, you need 150,000 gallons of it. How do we know the water tower we see in Bolt is the same one as the one at Disney Studios? Because it has the same special six-leg design, instead of the standard four-leg design water towers usually have. These towers were originally made to hold water in case of fires, but the one we see at Disney Studios is no longer a functioning water tower. Maybe that scene in Bolt was more realistic than we thought after all. But with sprinkler systems all over and Disney's very own fire department, it's very unlikely a scene like in Bolt will ever actually take place. Following, spot the bus. In the scene on the bridge, there's a quick little Easter egg, but but it's over in a blink of an eye. And if you haven't seen the movie, it's easy to miss. It's neatly folded away in the torrent of traffic that passes underneath the bridge. On a bus that passes, you can see the same number as the bus had in the movie Speed. The bus in Speed has the number 2525, which is the number you can see flash by if you look really closely. But don't blink because you'll miss it. If you haven't seen the movie and you can handle some agonizing suspense, we highly recommend it. Hold up, where do you think you're going? This is Bolt we're talking about. Possibly the the most loyal, brave, and awesome dog to have ever lived in animation land. Do you know how they used reverse psychology to let you know Bolt and friends had reached Disney? And what proof is there that Inspector Gadget's Dr. Claw and Bolt's villain are one and the same? Stick around until the end of the video and you'll find out. Let's start with reverse psychology. When they arrived at the city where Disneyland is located, listen closely to what Rhino has to say. The most terrifying place on Earth. Normally, people say almost the exact opposite when they're talking about Disneyland. Normally, people say it's the happiest place on Earth, which is why you somehow instinctively know what Rhino is talking about anyway. Cool, huh? Or maybe there's a little bit of truth in what he says when you've been standing in line for four hours for a ride that will be over in two minutes. Next, flipping channels. When Rhino is flipping through the channels in the big camper, there's a few secrets to make out for the careful observer. At some point, he stops at the Price is Right. Then we hear a snippet of Gilligan's Island. Another one is a game show that was called Press your luck, where contestants had to press a button while hoping not to activate a whammy, which would mean they'd lost all the money they'd made so far on the program. That's why people would scream, no whammy, no whammy. And even for the not-so-observant watcher, surely you heard Mr. T from the A-Team float by in there. And now, Dr. Calico. His name is a cat breed. He has a lot of similarities with another villain that is closely associated with cats, Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget. But it's possible that Inspector Gadget infiltrated a lot deeper into Bolt than is visible on the surface. It's very possible that this fake show, Bolt, is actually a spin-off of the old TV show, Inspector Gadget. Let's look at the evidence. In Bolt, Penny has a dog, Bolt. In Inspector Gadget, his niece has a dog as well. What is her name, you ask? Penny. And what about that scooter, Bolt, Penny rides around on, not to mention all her other random gadgets. But we know that Dr. Calico isn't the main, main bad guy. That's the guy we never get to see a face of, but we do see the back of his head. Did you see the cat tattoo as well? In the end, Dr. Calico is nothing but a 
hired hand, obeying orders. Next up, more Inspector Gadget proof. Just like in Inspector Gadget, we don't really get to see anything from the true villain behind all Bolt's troubles. All we see is the back of his head, with the suspicious cat tattoo and his hand. But the guy who's giving the orders in Bolt clearly has an intact hand, so he can't actually be Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget, can he? Because Dr. Claw absolutely does not have a normal hand. So is this where the theory breaks down? No, because if you remember watching the live-action Inspector Gadget movie, they explain how technology has changed dramatically. So for all we know, Dr. Claw has managed to invent something that looks like a real hand by now. Following, but Penny and Penny don't look alike. Just because they don't look alike doesn't mean that they're not the same person. In Bolt, they clearly show us that they know very well how to carry out plastic surgery to change Penny's appearance. Perhaps the change we see her go through wasn't the first time she changed her appearance. Because in all other regards, they're pretty darn the same. It's said that Penny was only named after the Penny and Inspector Gadget, but we're convinced there's more to it. When you do look closely at Bolt's Penny's appearance, she does really look like a Another character you might recognize, Kim Possible. They have the same auburn hair, and they're both trying to save the world from evil doctors who are bent on world domination. Maybe they're related. And lastly, Joe Mateo. If you listen closely to what the lady at the security gate is saying, you'll hear that she's looking for someone named Joe Mateo. Joseph Joe Mateo is one of the story artists that helped bring the movie Bolt to life. So he's one of the people who realized that it's much more important to focus on the story, which is why when you look at the background of Bolt, it's it's not necessarily high definition. In fact, they consciously went the other way. For instance, some backgrounds in Bolt were made from some basic paintings, which they made 3D with the help of some computer magic. Very wise decision of the artist. This decision was partly made because they were on a tight deadline for Bolt. Instead of the usual four years for a project like this, they only had 18 months to make Bolt. They pulled it off, but such tactics are definitely not recommended. And that was it for some of the coolest Easter eggs that were hidden in Bolt. Which one of these is your favorite, or did we miss yours? If so, please share your favorite Bolt Easter egg in the comments. And thanks for watching.